Good morning, everyone. Let's get started just like usual, okay? So we're gonna sit in our chair. We're really gonna think about lengthening through our spine here, feeling that space between each vertebrae. Let's roll our shoulders back and down and we're gonna chin tuck back for 10, okay? Let's get ready and begin. 10, nine, maintaining that length through the spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's maintain that length still. We're gonna do our head turn side to side, five each direction, alternating, coming back to center in between each. Ready? Here we go. Turn, back to center. Turn to the other side, back to center. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now we're going to go on the clock here. Okay, we're going to do 30 seconds per exercise. We're going to start. You can be seated or standing with this one. Okay, just maintain that length through the spine. Okay, sit up nice and tall, and we're going to. Pull the uh, shoulder blades back. Okay, we're gonna go in for a goal post here, okay? 30 seconds, ready? And here we go. Okay, seated or standing. Remember, if you're standing right now, keep your glutes engaged to protect your lower back. And what I want you to think about here is your shoulder blades doing the work, right? Your shoulder blades are pulling those elbows back, okay? 10 more seconds here. Just warming up the body here, okay? This is our warm up. Three, two, and time. Okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our palms. Okay, you can do this seated or standing. We're gonna put them on the small of our back right here, okay? So I'm kind of making a diamond with my hands. All right, I'm gonna stand for this one just because the sides of my chair get in my way. And we're just pulling back, okay? Pulling back. So feel a nice stretch through the front, all right? Trying to get those elbows to touch one another. All right, creating that diamond shape with your hands in the back, seated or standing, keeping the glutes engaged some so that you don't arch your lower back too much. Feeling that stretch through the front of the shoulders. Two and time. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is a seated or standing dead bug. If you're standing, your opposite knee and arm is gonna come up and down, okay? If you're seated, all right, feel that core, okay? So either standing or seated, all right? Exhale. Challenging some balance, getting the core to turn on here. Five more seconds here. Two and one. Okay, next one is gonna be a pendulum. So if you can, we're gonna come overhead with our hands. If your palms don't wanna to reach together and you just wanna do this, that's fine too, okay? Seated or standing, side to side, okay? Whichever feels good. Getting that little nice side stretch here. Good, just waking up the body, not trying to force it to go further than it wants to go. Just realizing where that edge is. Two and one. And the next one we're gonna do is hip circles. You're standing, come wider than shoulder width apart so we can go ahead and rock that hip around. If you're seated, keep those feet wide and you're gonna do the upper body, okay? We're going in one direction, okay, for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go into the other direction. All right, we're just kind of warming up our joints here, get everything ready for the work to come. Five more seconds going this direction, and then we're gonna reverse it. And time, reverse. Good, 20 more seconds like this. 
And then we're going to get into the first active part of our workout, which is going to be some core conditioning to get the um, to get the um, body temperature up in the body. Ten more set or and time. All right, guys. So that is a little bit of a dynamic warm up. Just a short four minute one there. Okay, this is going to be like a continuation. This is also going to be some of our cardio for the day. So it's going to be 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of transition time. However, if you are advanced and on those 10 seconds, you want to keep on moving by doing a march, okay, you can do that. That way it's almost like you're, a, it's a walking workout for 12 minutes, okay? So that's your choice though, okay? On the 10 seconds, if you want, march it out. Or if you're seated, march it out, okay? Or just wait for the next exercise, you got it? Okay, so we are going to do uh, <clears throat> six exercises in this block. The first one is a knee raise and pull down, okay? Boom, boom. So standing or seated, right? <sighs> okay, at your own pace, okay? The next one is gonna be our W and side step. So here's our seated variation, okay? And here's our standing or tap, there it is. <laughs> okay, all right. The third one is going to be a knee raise with a left twist. So my left knee, knee, twist, knee, twist. Okay, seated. Okay, the next one is going to be the other side, okay? And then we have sit squats, okay? So we're going to sit it down, drive it up, sit it down, drive it up. If that is too intense, your seated option is an alternating leg extension, okay? And our final one is going to be an inside ankle tap, so tap tap, okay? Even if you can't reach your ankle, you know, maybe it's, okay, you're giving me this internal rotation of the hip right here, okay? So if you can't reach your ankle, that's okay. Just go in that direction, okay? That is our first circuit. Remember, you can march on the 10 second transition time if you want to, okay? I'm going to do round one seated, so you get a feel for that, and then the next two rounds I'll be standing. So um, the first one is our knee raise and pull down, okay? 30 seconds is going on the clock. Let's get ready and begin, okay? So I'm opting for the seated um, versions this uh, first round. Remember, you're, you know, you're the uh, expert on your body, okay? So you know, if you need to pick up the pace or slow down the pace, if you need to shorten your range of motion. And remember, this time is just a guide. If you need to stop early, time. So here's your option. If you wanna march it out right here, you can. Okay, if you wanna keep on moving. The next one we're gonna do is our side step and fly. Two and one. So seated or standing, side to side. Think of those shoulder blades pulling the elbows back, okay? That's where the movement initiates. You need to slow it down. Do so, right? Listen to your body, okay? On a scale of one to 10, okay? One being you're sitting down and 10 being you're running. You're trying to progress yourself up to around the number seven tops, okay? Next one here, you can either um, march. We're gonna do our knee raise, knee uh, left with our twist left. Here we go. Again, take it to your own pace, okay? This requires some balance because we're twisting on one leg. If you're standing in particular, and we're getting deep into those oblique muscles right now. You pick your tempo. Three, two, and one. Option to march it out, or you can just wait until we get ready to 
even out and do the other side, okay? Three, two, and one, other side. And remember, this timer is just our guide. If you need to stop and get a drink, okay, if you just need to stop, you need a little extra rest, you should do that, okay? Ten more seconds here, and we're going to go to our sit squats. Okay, three, two, and one. So you can march here. Option to march. Okay, remember with your sit squat, heels are about shoulder width apart as you drive up and sit down. Ready? Begin. I'm doing the seated variation here. Okay. If you're doing those sit squats, make sure you're driving up through the heels of your feet, squeezing those glutes at the top. If you're doing these alternating leg extensions with me, keep that foot flexed and squeeze the top of your leg as you're extended long. We've got those inside ankle taps coming up next. Time, there's your option to march or just wait. Okay, whatever feels good. And next, we're going to those inside ankle taps, right? Here we go. This is the bottom of round one. We have two more rounds of this to go through. So we're gonna go back to the top, okay? You can remain seated if you're seated, as I've just demonstrated all those. The next two rounds I will do standing, but it's your choice to, you know, pick how you want to do these exercises. Three, two, and one. Okay. Option to march. We are back at the top. Remember, you don't have to do this march on our, our uh, in-betweens if it's too much. Okay. So we're back to knee raise and pull down. Ready? Here we go. Seated or standing. You pick your tempo. Okay, your range of motion look, might look different through your shoulders than mine, might look different through your hips. Okay, that's okay. You're working within your parameters. Remember, you are the expert of your body, okay? Three, two, and one, okay. Side step with W fly is next. Take your drinks whenever you need them. Three, two, and one. So if you're seated, remember you're doing those lateral taps with these arms here. I'm thinking of my shoulder blades as pulling back my elbows, right? Good God. We've got that knee raise left with uh, oblique twist left coming up next. Five, four, three, two, one, option to march out, okay? Knee raise with oblique twist left is next. Three, two, and one. I like to, for the standing, come out. See how I'm coming out just a little wide? That helps with my balance. Exhale and twist. You're seated. You don't have to worry about tapping out to the side as much. Good, keep it going. Three, two, one. Option to march out, you know what's next. We're gonna even out and get that other side, okay? Should start to feel that body temperature coming up now. Here we go. Twist, knee. Seated or standing. Trying to exhale when the knee goes up and I twist. All right, try to exhale the air out of the tummy. Halfway. Three, two, and one. March if you'd like to. Next, we have our six squats or our alternating seated leg raise, okay? Three, two, and one. Heels are hip width apart. I'm lowering down, driving up, down, driving up. We've 
We've got those inside ankle taps coming up next. Three, two, and one. Option to march. Remember, you can march as seated or standing too, okay? Inside ankle taps are next for the bottom of round two. Here we go, boom, boom. It's okay if your fingertips don't touch the ankles. We're just looking through, see this? This creates internal rotation of the hip, okay? Joint mobility is really important, okay? That's one of the things that helps us feel young, right? Is being able to take our joints through their full range of motion. So these are some dynamic exercises that help with our mobility through our hips, okay? Two and one, march it out. One more time, guys, one more time. Back to the top with our knee raise and pull down, seated or standing, here we go. If you need to take a little bit of extra rest, please do so, okay? This is your workout. The most important thing is showing up, staying consistent with your, with, um, you know, and having a schedule for your exercise, right? Three, two, and one, march it out, all done those. Side step with W fly is next. Seated or standing, two, one, here we go. Remember, think those shoulder blades, like I'm trying to pinch the shoulder blades together. That's what's initiating this movement, right? We want to work those trapezoid muscles, those posture muscles. Five, three, two, one, option to march. Knee raise left with oblique twist left is next. Seated or standing. Ready? Begin. Knee. Woo. Halfway on this one. Slow it down if you need to. Three, two, and time on that side. Optional march here. We're gonna go ahead and even out and do the other side. Three, two, and one, here we go. You might notice one side's a little easier than the other or maybe not, but it's okay if you notice that. Remember, nobody's perfectly symmetrical. We've all put wear and tear on our body over the years. Five, three, two, and one. March out. Final set of our sit squats, or if you're staying seated, our alternating leg extensions. Two and one, tap it down, drive it up and squeeze, okay? Our inside ankle taps are next, and that's gonna complete our first active block. Body temperature should feel nice and elevated. Ready for a little work with weights next. And time, okay. Ankle taps, let's finish this off. Seated or standing. Two and one. Almost there, 10 more seconds, then we rest. Three, two, and one. Okay, good job guys. That was our first active 12 minute block. Okay, go ahead, get a drink. 
recover, bring your, your breath back to normal here. Our next set is also going to be a 12 minute block, but this is gonna be our, um, <clears throat> it's gonna be 12 minutes, three rounds, four exercises, okay? 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of transition. So we did a little bit of core and cardio to start to warm up the body. Now we're gonna go into some weighted and functional movement patterns. If you don't have a pair of light weights or something like that, you could use um, water bottles, soup cans, or you could just pretend that you're holding weights in your hand and, and just go through the range of motion of an exercise, okay? So um, the four exercises we're going to do, I'm gonna demonstrate seated and standing is gonna be our gorilla row, okay? So if you're seated, you're wide with your legs so that I can kind of hinge down in between. I'm gonna row with the dumbbell, row with the dumbbell, come on up, back down, row, row. What I want you to think about is that you stay nice and neutral through your spine, okay? So same thing if you're standing here, my um, heels are outside my hips, hinge, look at my spine here, row, row. Up, right? So what I'm not doing is doing this. You see the difference there? I don't want to be rounded through here, right? I want to push the hips back and then that makes this lower forward, my shoulders lower forward, okay? So gorilla row, all right? The next one we're going to do, you can do very, very light weights, what light weights, one pound or none. We're going to do our goal post fly with an internal and external rotation, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, let's not underestimate what this does for our posture and our face, our neck, our double chin, all of this helps, okay? Um, sit, squat, and press. So we're not entirely done with sit squats here. Your next one is, you can have one weight, drive it up, press, back down, drive it up, press, or you can use two weights, drive it up, press, okay? If you're seated, leg extension, leg extension, press, leg, leg extension, leg extension, press, okay? If pressing overhead, pressing hurts, maybe give me a curl here, okay? So if you just cannot go like this, if that's like, ow, okay? Leg extension, leg extension, curl, okay? That would be an alternative. Same with your uh, sit squat, squat, drive it up curl, okay? All right, and then our last one is bicep curl march. Remember this one? We haven't done this one in a while. I love this one. I feel my core works so good on this. Whether I'm seated or standing, I feel a lot of core engagement. So that's our next block. We're gonna start with our gorilla row to stand, or I'm sorry, our, yeah, so row, row, stand, okay? So feet are wide, shoulder width apart, toes are forward. 45 seconds is going on the clock. I'm gonna do round one seated, like I did last time. I'm sitting closer to the edge of my chair. Okay, ready? And begin. Nice and lengthen through the spine. Row, row. Remember, we're trying to keep that neutral spine. We're working the large muscles in the back right now by doing this row. The seated variation, we're getting lower back work here too. So back muscles are being worked here. The standing variation, you're also getting your hamstrings and glutes. Three, two, and one, okay. Very lightweight, like one pound weights or no weight. Okay, we're gonna go into our goal post with internal, external rotation. You can use water bottles. Water bottles are nice and um, weight. I do my body weight. I'm nice and tall. Here we go. We're gonna pull back, internal, external together. So exercises like this, not only help us with our posture, but help with um, 
opening up the chest, which helps things like defining the jawline, okay? Helping to get rid of um, some double chin here, okay? So our posture really affects how we look um, even in our face and uh, neck area, okay? Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving on, we've got our sit, squat, and press, or our alternating leg extension and press. Remember, sometimes people don't have good shoulders, okay? And you need to, you know, be, you know, you need to be aware of what's good for you to do, okay? So I'm gonna do leg extension, leg extension, press, or you're gonna do a sit, squat, and press. Again, with the shoulders though, if this hurts, okay? If it's like sharp pain, and it feels like you could injure yourself, you're going to do leg extension, leg extension, curl, okay? Or squat and curl. There's a difference between exercise discomfort, right? And working a little hard, right? And just feeling that um, discomfort, you know, versus acute pain and, you know, feeling like your body's telling you, hey, let up, I'm going to get injured, okay? You gotta know the difference and time. Okay, um, bicep curl and march is next, okay? So my palms are up, I'm gonna exhale as I drive up on one knee. Okay, getting our balance work in here, ready? Here we go. So knee up and curl. I'm pulling my belly button back towards my spine as I exhale and raise my palms and my knee up. I'm tall and lengthen through my spine. We're going back to the top. After this, I will move to standing for the next two rounds, but please remain seated if that is your better option. And maybe you're doing a mix of options. Maybe some you find you're okay to stand with and maybe others it's best you sit with, right? You can tailor this to you and your unique self. Time, okay, back to the top. So we're going to gorilla row to stand, okay? So nice and wide with those heels, toes are facing forward, right? Here we go, we're gonna push our hips back. My spine's nice and neutral, row, row, squeeze up. Okay, so in that seated variation, you're really making sure you're keeping that length through the spine. You're trying not to round through it. So wherever your range of motion takes you is fine as long as you keep that length through the spine. Standing, I'm really using my glutes to, and hamstrings to come back up, right? Shoot from the front. Those weights are in between my legs here. Working the lats, the large muscles in the uh, back behind the rib cage, and the glutes and hands. Time. Okay. Next, we have that goal post with internal ro external rotations. Seated or standing. When you're standing, remember I'm tucking and scooping my pelvis under to protect my lower back. Here, here we go. Very lightweight or no weight. Okay. Remember when we're working small muscle groups like we are right here. Super heavy weight is only going to make us recruit muscles we're not trying to work. And it just increases our chance of injury because we're trying to focus on one thing, but another thing's being used, okay? So lightweight here, because these are small muscles or no weight, okay? Which I like because I think going through our range of motion through the joint is really important. Keep the glutes squeezed if you're standing. Two and one. Good. Sit, squat, and press, or give me a curl if the overhead pressing is no good. Seated, remember you're doing the alternating leg extension and press or curl. My feet are about shoulder width apart, toes slightly flared out. I'm gonna sink it down, drive it up, press. You're doing the curl, boom, okay? 
Boom. Okay, so you pick which one's better for you. You're doing the overhead press. I just like to keep them right at my shoulders here. Keeps me just ready for it, right? Three, two, and one. Recover. We've got that bicep curl with the knee raise next, okay, with the march. All right. Remember, our timer is just a guide, okay? So if you need to take a little extra recovery time, you go ahead and do that, okay? I'm really exhaling and trying to pull that belly button back towards my spine as I drive that knee up and bicep curl. Getting a lot of core work today, guys. Gonna do one more round through before we move on to our final block. Two and time. Excellent, we are back to the top, okay? So gorilla row to stand. Remember, feet are shoulder width apart, toes are forward, okay? You're here, you're seated. Ready? And begin, we're gonna row, row, lift it up, okay? Or squeeze the glutes up. Working those big lat muscles in the back, this area right here. Okay, so you're making that mind muscle connection. When I pull, squeeze that muscle, squeeze that muscle. Remember, it takes time to develop mind muscle connection. It doesn't happen immediately sometimes. So don't be discouraged if you don't feel it right away. Just keep on telling that muscle to engage, okay? Having your mind connect to that is going to help a lot, okay? Here we go, back to our goal post with internal and external rotation, seated or standing. Very, very lightweight, one pound or no weight, okay? I'm standing, so I'm really making sure I'm tucking and scooping, right? Pull back. If you're seated, you don't have to worry about that. This just helps with the standing position to protect your lower back. Our last round through of this block. Good, almost done this one. We got five more seconds here. So we're going back to our sit, squat, and press. And time for our alternating leg extension and press. Remember, if overhead pressing hurts, just turn it into a bicep curl instead, okay? All right. Heels are shoulder width apart, slight flare out with the toes. Sit it down, drive it up, press, boom. We have bicep curl and march next. And then we're gonna move on to our final block. I feel like it's going quick. Remember, if you're seated here, it's an alternating leg extension to a press or bicep curl. Get your drinks whenever you need them. Almost done. Three, two, and time. Okay. Last one in this block is our bicep curl and march. All right. Here we go in three, two, and one. Seated or standing. Give me that nice strong exhale. Really trying to push the belly button to the back of your spine, right? It's really gonna help, <coughs> excuse me, get those deep core muscles engaged.
Good. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Great job, guys. Take a rest, okay? We just got one more block left, okay? It's um, <clears throat> gonna be another 12 minute block here. And it is still four exercises, but we're gonna do our A, B, A, B, A, B, C, D, okay? Just to keep it interesting, so. <clears throat> The first one we're gonna do, we're, we're doing a little bit, this is back to a little bit more of conditioning and posture focus, okay? So we're gonna do a palms up. You can use a pair of dumbbells here too, um, like one, two pound. We're gonna heel tap and pull, heel tap and pull, boom. So no weight or, you know, some like kind of weight here, okay? So seated, that's gonna look, you're gonna, tap those heels out just like this, okay? With or without weight. And say you start with the weights and you're like, boy, this is getting long and tiresome. Drop them, okay? All right, keep on going without them, okay? So you can always modify in that sense, all right? Um, our next one, guess what? We're going back to our, did we do this in our warm, warm up? Or did I change it? No, um, we're gonna do our, oh no, it was in our, uh, first block, sidestep, W fly, boom, 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 okay? Back to this one again, all right? Then we're gonna do our three-way ball pass, right? So standing, it's pass the ball, pivot, pass the ball, back to center, pivot, center, pivot, center. Okay, so we're always coming back to center. Seated variation, we don't have to worry about that pivot, and I will demonstrate it first round. It's gonna be center, Pivot, center, pivot, okay? We don't have to worry about the feet doing anything here. We're just gonna feel all that work through the middle, okay? And then our last one, because they just go so good together, is our sweep, shoot, sweep, shoot, okay? Remember, it's an option to come up on your heels. If you're tired, you can just stay on your feet and remove the heel raise. Our seated variation, we're gonna stay wide. We're gonna sweep. Shoot, sweep, shoot. Okay, so you're kind of like twisting side to side, okay? All right, I'm gonna do round one seated and you're gonna follow along. Remember this format's a little different. We're going A, B, A, B, A, B, C, D. Just follow my lead. If you've been here with me, you know the drill, all right? So we're gonna start with our palms up, option to hold a light pair of weights. We're gonna pull back and heel tap, okay? All right, so let's get ready. Final block here. In three, two, and one. So I'm seated or standing. We're using our lats, those back muscles again, like we did with the gorilla row. And we're also working our biceps again, okay? Good upper body work here with some conditioning, working those calves as well. Woo, remember, if it feels too intense with the weights, if you have to drop them, you can do that. Or if you need to slow your pace down, you can do that as well. Um, this is your workout. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Side step with W fly. We're back to our posture work again, okay? So let's get ready. And three, two, and one, here we go. So since this is A, B, A, B, we're gonna go back to that first exercise we just got done with after this one. Remember here, I'm really thinking of my shoulder blades, those muscles around my shoulder blades doing the work here. So strengthening the muscles in the upper back, stretching the ones in the front and the chest. Whew. 10 more seconds here. Then we're gonna go back to that full back row. And I'm gonna go to standing for that second round. Three, two, and one. 
back to our first exercise. All right, so we're back to that heel tap, heel tap, okay? I'm starting to feel my arms already here. In five, four, three, two, and one. Remember, this is option to hold the weight here, okay? You can always take the weight away if it feels too intense. Seated or standing, boom. Whew. My biceps are burning. Halfway, and we're gonna go back to that side step with the W fly. Good, 10 more seconds. Woo, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, back to that W fly here, okay? Ooh, deep breath, okay? Get a drink if you need it. It's our final block. We're probably feeling that accumulated fatigue. Ready? And begin, either seated or standing, boom. Okay, so I'm thinking of this upper back, those shoulder blades. They're pulling back, right? That's where the work is happening. So that's where you put your thought, your focus. We're moving on to our next AB, AB, which is gonna be our three-way ball pass and our sweep and shoot. This is like our third week, I think, doing that combination. But they're they're fun to me. I put them at the end. It's like you know, saving the best part of your dinner for last or something. <laughs> you ever do that too? That's kind of like the the idea. Three and time. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our three way ball pass. I'm gonna go back to seated. Okay, to demonstrate the first round seated. Okay, so we have our ball. All right, our imaginary ball. Here we go. Forward, turn. Remember, if you're standing, you're going to pivot on that foot. Or seated, not so much. Just go through your range. You're not forcing your body to go further than it wants to go. Okay, work within your limit. You could always hold a single dumbbell here if you just like the idea of having something in your hands. Definitely give you a little more work for that um, arms as well. Two and one. Ooh, okay. Not done with our ball game here. We're going to do our sweep and shoots. Remember, if you're seated, we're nice and wide so we can pick the imaginary ball up and shoot. Okay? Ready? And begin. We're going to sweep, pick it up. Shoot over to the right. Sweep, pick it up, shoot to the left, okay? Just alternating. So the seated one, our feet stay still. Feel this lengthening and twist through the uh, back. You feel the lengthening, feel the obliques work as you twist. We're going back to our three-way ball pass after this. Three, two, and one. Woo, okay. Start to feel that intensity here. Okay, we're going back to our three-way ball pass. I'm just gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna go to standing this round. I'm just gonna hold one dumbbell, pretend this is like a ball, okay? Option, you don't have to do that, okay? Ready, here we go. So pass it, pivot and pass. Remember when you're seated, you don't have to worry about that foot pivoting. Always coming back to center. Start to feel these arms are really getting worked this last block. Good. Almost done this one. Less than 10 seconds here. I'm gonna go back to sweep and shoot. Three, two, and time. Okay. 
All right, second round of swoop and shoot. I'm gonna go to standing. Remember, if you're seated, your feet are wide, they stay wide, okay? When we're standing, we take that side step. Here we go in three, two, and one. Side step, sweep, pick it up, shoot, okay? Option to come up onto your toes. If that feels like too much, just take that part out. Like you're picking a ball up and then you're gonna shoot it into the basket. Good, after this exercise, we're just going to do all four right from the top for one more round through. Just A, B, C, and then D. And then we're done, we're almost there. Three, two, and time. Okay, back to the top. Remember, we're back to that pull back and heel tap, seated or standing, okay? Option to hold a light pair of weights here. Two and one. Final set of everything. Pulling back like this is activating our lat muscles in our back and our biceps, okay? Whew. Final set of these, we've got 15 more seconds. Feel on those arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving on to our side step with W fly. Okay, so going back to stretch in the front, tighten the back. And we're getting those glute meets here by doing our side step, okay? Remember the lateral taps if you're seated. Ready? And begin. Squeeze the shoulder blades back, back. Past halfway for this one. We're going to our three-way ball pass next. Option to hold a single dumbbell, lighter one, but you don't need to. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh man, my arms, I am feeling it. Okay, almost done, okay? Two more minutes, three-way ball pass. Seated or standing, ready? And Begin. I'm gonna pass it forward, pivot, forward, pivot. So think of that heel tap and row we did. Now we're doing the opposite thing with the uh, arms where we're pushing forward instead of pulling back. And with this push forward, we activate chest and triceps, okay? So when we pull back, like we did in our first exercise, it's back and biceps. And now we're doing the opposite and getting chest and triceps. Three, two, and one. Okay, final one, guys. Sweep and shoot, sweep and shoot. Okay, nice full body exercise to end on. Getting into the front of those shoulders here. All right, our W fly gets to the back of the shoulders. This is gonna get the front and the top. Ready? Here we go. Seated or standing. Sweep, shoot. Not to mention the lower body work you get here. Good. We're done after this, guys. We'll just cool down. Ten more seconds. Woo! 
and time. Nice work, guys, okay? Catch your breath, all right, get a drink. We are going to cool down then, okay? And seated or standing, let's just start with our neck and trap, okay? So I'm just gently pulling slightly on my head and I'm reaching down with that opposite arm, I'm feeling that nice opening right through the neck and upper trapezius muscle here. Deep breath. Good. Back to center, same thing. Other side. Good, back to center. Just like we did in our um, warm up move where we're gonna take our hands here like this, put them on the small of our back. We were in our dynamic warm up. We were moving here like we have wings. Now we're just gonna pull back and hold, okay? So creating this little diamond. All right, and I'm keeping my glutes engaged, okay? I, I want it because that'll help me from like overextending my lower back, okay? And it'll give me a nice stable base to pull the elbows back. Good. All right, stretched out the front. Let's stretch out the back, come over. So I'm coming down and across, okay? And I should feel this probably somewhere through here, but I also wanna visualize in the back of my shoulder blade, that space where the wing of my scapula kind of pops off, like in between the spine and there. I wanna think of that lengthening, those muscles lengthening in between there, okay? Same thing other side. So I'm coming down and over. Good. And then let's go ahead for the lower, for the middle body and the lower, we're going to do a um, figure four stretch. We can sit down here. Okay, we're gonna cross our uh, one leg over. Keep this foot flexed here. I'm lengthening up through my spine. And it's only like about an inch or two. It's not a lot of movement forward as I try to keep my spine nice and um, erect here, where you should start to feel this glute stretch, okay, on that cross leg. So it's not about trying to round over and bend as far as you can this way, right? It's keeping that length through the spine and boop. I mean, I'm moving over like, I'm moving forward like an inch or two maybe, you know, it's not much, okay. All right, let's relax that side. But before we go to the other uh, glute muscle, we're just gonna take that crossed foot, flex some point for five, circle five, each direction. Good. And now the same thing on the other side. You're seated, figure four, excuse me, four stretch. So I'm flexing this ankle, I'm lifting up tall. Through that, I'm just, leaning forward about an inch or two and really feeling that activation for that. For me, this is my left leg on here. So my left glute, I'm really feeling. It doesn't take a lot of movement forward to feel this. And when you're ready, come back up. And then we're just gonna go ahead and flex that ankle for five. And then circles five each direction. Okay. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take a nice big inhale up. Palms together. Exhale to heart. One more. Palms together. Exhale to heart. All right, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Um